we need to approach climate change and nature loss together because one perpetuates the other in feedback loops. So the biological processes of the world, the living earth, whether it's algae or trees or phytoplankton or fungi and nutrient carbon soil, all of this forms part of what we call the climate and then the climate creates a feedback loop into the natural system. So you can't solve one without the other because there's no division between both and we've created this full separation. My mission is to try and regenerate as many ecosystems as possible during my time on Earth. Specifically, what the lab does is we create the scientific basis for the relationship between biodiversity and climate change and create a lot of open source tools for communities around the world to make the right ecological decision for themselves and for their land. As an investor, my role is to steer as much capital responsibly towards the regeneration of ecosystems, but also scientific research, new economic models, journalism and advocacy, all the voices that speak on behalf of the living world, because I believe that we've silenced some of those other voices in lieu of um, having a very anthropocentric narrative. The key focus of my work is breaking down the false uh, binaries or the illusion that humans are distinct from nature and that actually uh, we need to solve problems very comprehensively and holistically, seeing the human being as part of nature, as part of the ecosystem, and also not isolating biodiversity, nature-based solutions from the wider climate or decarbonization debate but understanding that they are kin, uh, they are part of a similar way of creating a world where humans and other species can thrive. Yes, we need to use trees to capture carbon, but trees and forests are also about so much more than carbon. There's so many co-benefits, water filtration, food, livelihoods, economic security, so on and so forth. Well, I think honestly, something that's super exciting is how much is happening in this space. You know, it can seem quite bleak uh, when you read the news, but all around the world, you have hundreds of thousands and probably millions of people who are experimenting where they're living with different ways of being, different forms of exchange, different ways of regenerating land. One of the initiatives that the lab started is called Restore, and it's like a Google Maps for the global restoration movement. So we have a few hundred thousand sites there of practitioners from small plots to very large plots uh, experimenting with different ways of restoring their land and then we link them up to suppliers and producers and capital flows. There's so much financing moving into the space and even policy. The force is there to really start pushing things in a much more positive direction.